Hi, my name is Richard Ferrier and I'm going to show you how to stream my game to stream Crisis from a Windows PC and it can be running Windows XP, Service Pack 2 or Windows Vista and we're going to stream Crisis from here and stream it over to my PlayStation 3 which is by my television set in my living room um, and we're going to play Crisis on the PlayStation 3. Um, I've left my streamer server running um, it's connected and ready to launch games and I always leave my streamer server running on my main PC and I can access any of my games that are installed on this main PC from any of the other PCs or my PlayStation 3 around my home. So let's go to my television set and start up our PlayStation 3. Here I am with my TV. Um, uh, I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse uh, which I purchased. Um, they talk to the little unit there with the blue light on it and that's plugged straight into one of the USB 2 ports of the PlayStation and I got this wireless keyboard and mouse for £11. Um, I've already installed on the PlayStation 3 over here, I've already installed Ubuntu, um, uh, it's Feisty Form uh, 7.04, um, it's straight off the install CD so I downloaded the ISO file from their site and recorded a, a CD with it and put it straight into the, the drive and installed it and there's full instructions on our site um, about how to do that and also on PS3 Ubuntu's site showing you how you can install it onto the PlayStation 3. Um, so I'm now going to go onto our website and once you've logged into our website and you remember you can get to this section over here which is called uh, download free and the option, we've got three options, four options over here at the moment, the option that we're going to do is XP or Vista to PS3 Linux. And although we're using Ubuntu here, we you can also use uh, Yellow Dog, and it's been tested on both those uh, Linux uh, versions. So here's the server, which is already installed on my PC and, and running. Um, and here is the um, the uh, installer for Linux, which I've already downloaded. Um, and what you need to do is to read these instructions carefully. The first thing. Um, is that we need to open up a terminal, which is what I'm going to do now. And we need to get to the directory where we have downloaded the installer. And um, at the moment, um, um, and so I'm at the terminal, um, I'm going to go to my home directory and my desktop and, and there's the installer on my desktop and I'm going to copy that and I'm at my terminal I'm going to do CD and then and then I'm going to just paste that to get me to the directory which has actually got me to my desktop and now I'm at my desktop um, if we look in our instructions again, we can see that the next instruction you're given is to type in this command here, sudo.sh forward slash smg installer.sh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to just paste that into the terminal. And there's the, the, the string which is sudo which means super user and we're installing our SMG installer. It's going to ask me for a password and the password is the password that you gave to Linux when you did the Linux installation itself. So it's not a password from us, it's the Linux password that it's asking for. So I'm going to type in my Linux password. Hit return. And it brings up the whole installer for Linux and it says, are you ready to install? And you should read all of these details here. Um, when you install it, it tells you that it runs on both Intel and AMD CPUs and it will also run on the PlayStation 3 and um, uh, various other uh, um, CPUs. Um, so I'm going to say yes, I'm going to install that, I'm ready to install. And there it goes, that's done its installation. Installation complete, it says over here. 
Um, and it's asked me now if I want to read the README, and I'm going to say yes, I'm going to read the README. And that brings you up various details about it, um, about the installer, about what you can do with it, etc, etc. It also describes the firewall configurations. If you're using a firewall, um, it tells you um, which ports within your firewall you have to open to give us access to and from our website. Um, so I'm going to quit that by pressing Q. And you can see it's taken me back to the command prompt. I'm going to go back to our website and do the last part of the install process. And that's using this line here, which says SMG protocol setup. And I'm going to select that and copy it. And, and what this command does is it's going to run a script that's going to tell your browser it's going to associate our files on our website with your browser. So every time you click on one of our Stream My Game files on our website, it's going to launch our player. So let's click that. And we've got some options here. And one of those options is GNOME, which I know is Ubuntu. So I'm going to click on that and press Enter. And that's it. We've now installed our player uh, on the PlayStation 3. So if we now go back to our website, um, I'm going to go up to the top of this page and I'm going to click on your home. And I'm going to click on your games. And then I'm going to go down and here are all the games that I've got connected up to the Stream My Game website. And I'm going to go onto the Crisis demo, which you can see has been authorised. And the service I'm going to use is this one, Stream Game at Home. So I'm going to click on that. Actually, I'm going to do it at 800 by 600. 2 megabits per second at 1.441. The reason why I'm doing that is this is our latest player. And although I'm at 720p, I'm going to stream it at 800 by 600. And our player is going to shrink it down so it fits on the screen correctly. So let's just launch that now. And there's the new player. Um, it's going to ask me if I want to run in full screen, and I'm going to say yes, I do want to run in full screen. It's already saved my login username and password, so it's asked me if I want to use that, and I'm going to say yes, use my saved username and password. And now we are launching on my PC in my office, we are launching Cry Crisis, and it's being streamed over the network connection over to the PlayStation 3 and being displayed on the PlayStation 3. And now you can see some of the introductory um, adverts on the, the, the game. I'm going to see if I can get past some of them. And now you can see the graphics for any of you know Crisis, the graphics beginning, you can see the quality of the video that's being streamed at 2 megabits per second. Right, so here we are in the game, and I'm going to swim up to the top. And I'm going to swim around here, because I know, and you can see, uh, I'm going to swim up to a beach, up over here, um, and I'm going to use my gun when I get up there, just to show you the audio synchronisation that we've got. But you can see as I'm looking around, it's very responsive. Okay. Make a checkpoint. Game's got saved. So I can move around very, very easily, zoom around here, check out things, things like night vision works fine. 
all the things you'd expect work exactly the same as they would do. So helicopter there with my car. Sink down if we can. And there we have it, playing Crisis on your PlayStation 3. From streammygame.com.